What a difference a day makes. The Basian yacht. We're now looking at manslaughter. Things have changed. Welcome to Aldon's Reviews and True Crime. So when you get a certain feel about something, you actually know. So it wasn't a little water jet coming up through the water, like a mini tornado underneath the water, lifting the boat out of the water, plunging it down, gone. This was apparently a door, or doors were left open on that yacht. My thoughts are, how does that happen? So you're paying the crew, supposedly the going rate. So they're competent, they're trained. There's a captain on board, there's a chef. There's a whole host of crew on board that boat. So how does this incompetence happen? A door left open, the swimming platform door at the rear. They all knew about the weather. Now, this boat was fitted with very sophisticated equipment. Screens, monitors, radars, all sorts of modern equipment. So why wasn't it realized there was a storm on the way? Now this boat is kind of almost unsinkable, but kind of not, if you know what I mean. But if you're leaving doors open, and apparently there are gallons and gallons of water coming on board very quickly. But you can flood one of those compartments in that boat and it won't sink. Now they haven't had a good look at that boat as we speak at the moment because it's lying 50 meters down on the seabed. So how do they know? So they've questioned a few people. The authorities have questioned the crew and the passengers. And they've gathered that doors were possibly left open. Now was this on purpose? You see, if we look at the whole case, so when you're looking at a particular case, you look at everything, not just one thing. Not just what happened, the instant, you have to look at everything involved. So I've already touched on the court case, the big US fraud court case. Did you know that Mike Lynch would have been serving 25 years if found guilty of fraud? Inflation of prices, inflation of services. That's only the tip of the iceberg. I had a very good attorney, the US attorney, that was actually by coincidence on board that yacht and he perished. Now along with Stephen Chamberlain, who was a partner in the business autonomy that was sold to HP and it was apparently said to be worth 8.5 to 9 billion. Now this price was said to be inflated. There are a lot of people out there not liking what went on, what was going on and also what's going on in the future. You see when people win court cases like that and there aren't many, there's an awful lot of money that's flying around Along with it, corruption. Different people are involved. Not only business people that are involved in businesses like that, but there are unscrupulous people involved in that sort of thing as well. Now, I don't want to speak ill of the dead, really. And I think this is really, really bad for their family. And although they've passed away now, for them, really, as well. What a waste of a life. Mike, he had a lovely, intelligent daughter. She had the whole world 
Ah, feito. She had the backing and she had potential to have a great life. It's all very sad, but I just want a big investigation now to see what went on. But you have to delve in all around that little circle in the middle. People should be coming clean, really, but people don't always tell the truth. Put down in the comments what you think. What's your theory? What do you base it on? So as things stand at the moment, we've had people slag people off for making assumptions, but it proves these assumptions were kind of correct. Because a boat like that just doesn't have a storm and then collapses and sinks. There has to be something that happened. Now going back, to the crew. They should have had somebody on standby, a fire evacuation plan, an emergency evacuation plan, alarms. Now, as I say, that boat was fitted with sophisticated CCTV. All around the boat, alerts. Not only having somebody or a couple of crew on standby all night, on watch, but the cameras everywhere, alerting to anything that happened. There will be spirit levels on that ship. So if the ship should turn a bit further than it should, an alarm goes off. Everybody knows what the alarm is. If you're in a hotel, this happened to me, and you hear the fire alarm. It's not nice, but you get up and you walk outside, don't you? Or you at least go and check in the corridor or on the top deck to see what's happening. That's pretty much immediate, isn't it? You wake up, pretty much immediate. You go and do that. Now, one wonders, were doors locked? Were particular connecting doors locked so the crew couldn't get out? You gotta think of all eventualities and this is one of them were the passengers or certain passengers trapped not trapped by water but trapped by locked doors what do we think put down in the comments if you think that this is totally irrelevant put down if you do think uh, at worst, the worst case can we say scenario that it was manslaughter. Or is there something more to it? What do we think of the coincidence of Stephen Chamberlain while he was out jogging two days before the ship went down, I believe? So we had the chairman of JP Morgan also on that boat. Now we know that ransom situations do go on because they do go on in the cyber world. Maybe not so much in the real world anymore, but could it be? Could it be JP Morgan had a price on his head and the ransom wasn't adhered to? At the moment, so to speak, there was a low of dirty washing in the washing machine and it needs to be washed in the proper manner in order to come out clean so do we need to add more detergent to the wash perhaps we need to put some softener in the wash and then it will come out hopefully gleaming and then we'll have an answer but i fear 
there'd be more bribes, there'd be more people paid off. They could be paid to say anything you want to hear or anything the authorities want to hear. There are many a uh, sailor telling a tall story. This is no exception. But what we've got to do is put our heads together, try to come to some sort of conclusion. As for you, you were given a gift, a gift of life to live. I hope you're in good health. And please, please, be careful out there.